Women instantly regrets challenging man. Not to be that guy, but there are times when we understand why there are different divisions between men and women. This isn't to say that women aren't capable of performing well against the opposite sex, but in these instances, they just so happen to, well, they didn't. Here are women instantly regretting challenging men. UFC fighter versus a girl with a slight height advantage. Did I say slight? I meant to say severe. The UFC fighter here is named Murad Wallace Willie. He's a bantamweight top five fighter and on an eight fight winning streak in the UFC. So yeah, the dude can scrap. The female here is Katarina Kavaleva at six foot five and is one and one as a boxer. She's got everything that I, a 5'10 man that's too scared to compete wants. The two are seen lightly sparring. Mareb is having a bit of fun and shoots in for a half-hearted takedown, but is lifted up into the air, perhaps higher than he's ever been. Kavaleva shows off her kicking savvy and her height, as she playfully throws a few kicks that could have given Mareb a haircut. Mareb turns things up a bit though, as he takes her down with ease. I mean, he's a top-tier UFC fighter, so it's not that wild that he's able to send this skyscraper of a woman falling. Marib was a very good sport here, but he showed that he's pretty much untouchable. Let me tell you guys this. When I first started wrestling in high school, I was totally inexperienced. So they matched me up with a girl, same weight class, but this girl had 10 years of experience. And I completely overpowered her with absolutely 0% technique. Because remember this, some women can beat some men, but the majority of men can beat all women. We interrupt this program to bring you the number one jerk of the month. He's a San Francisco radio guy. Hey, nice skeleton costume. This dude invited listeners, women only, to show up at a boxing ring and fight him for free concert tickets. And he promised to whip their butts. This dude is the real deal. Respect to him for believing in equal rights and left for women. He is a true feminist at heart. How sleazy is this dude? Battering women. And if that ain't bad enough, he's even a cheap shot artist. Using headbutts. And body slams. To beat him up. This guy's such a dirtbag, he wails on women even after they're knocked down. This woman's just trying to cover up and wants the fight stopped. But tough guy just keeps pounding away on her until she's bloody and collapses. He needs some milk! Wow, radio dude, you must be feeling real good about yourself right about now. There's a very special place in hell for dudes like you. Judging this man by his technique, his fighting style, he is a complete novice. But he literally and instantly won seven weight division title fights in one single fight. What a freaking Chad. This guy is my hero. He gave these women what they needed. A lesson in biology. Mr. Tate. You're saying most men don't know how to throw a punch. Let me tell you something about punching. Any idiot on the street, if he swings as hard as he can and hits you in the face, it's going to hurt. If you hit me in the face, I'm not going to panic. I've been hit in the face. I've been hurt. Most of you have never even been hit. You've never been gripped up. You've never even had a man grab you. You never felt a man's strength. You think you felt a man's strength during a little bit of sex? That was a fraction of it. You don't know how strong a man is. It's like getting grabbed by a lion. It's like getting hit by a car. If a real man were to grab you, it would feel like a car hit you. You'd be like, what the fuck? Facts. You'd be on the floor and you'd be a fucking... Training too hard goes wrong. 
So, the girl here is training like she's fighting. She's putting everything into her shots, which is A, not a good way to train, and B, leaves one susceptible to counter-strikes. She eats a lead hook. Look at that strong, independent woman! I think she's got this! ...susceptible to counter-strikes. She eats a lead hook and a body- it. Oh, He God. needs some milk! Oops, maybe not. Do you think she had this coming? Or could it possibly be the nature of the gym? We can't know for sure, but she certainly looks dangerous. Typically, fighters are divided by gender, weight, and skill level. But these barriers aren't always there, and we'll spend this video highlighting some of these bouts. In this bout, we've got a display of two very different fighters. A 50-year-old man taking on a girl that has a size and apparent skill advantage. Now this isn't what you'll see when turning on a UFC or PFL card, but it's entertaining nonetheless. The female here strikes early and often with roundhouse kicks and teep kicks up the middle, but the 50-year-old man is doing a good job mitigating the impact despite not really knowing how he's doing it. Obviously struggling with the pressure, the man will turn his back to his opponent and run away. As the fight continues, things begin looking up for the older gentleman. His sidekicks and body kicks seem to bother his female adversary. Now that he's found his timing and range, will he be able to do much with it? Not much. He's continually cut off and pushed against the cage. Though he's the furthest thing from a technical fighter, he's making his kicks and footwork work for him. The advancing female fighter just can't quite trap her opponent, however, she ends the round by pushing him down to the canvas. This match did have a hiccup of not being intergender, as the corner man of the female fighter scaled the cage and attacked the 50-year-old. What an intense fight between the UFC and KFC. That was absolutely rubbish. But you do you actually, but, but that's what I'm saying, like, you're going to want the guy that's going to be a pussy and won't be able to protect you, and you're going to have to take a guy on yourself. Do you think you can honestly take a man on? You guys go on a date, and he and get into a fight. Sp Spanish. And, huh? You saw the video of me taking on a man, right? I have three videos taking on big-ass men. So. Bullshit. Bullshit. You sell so bullshit. I fight guys, too, but that's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about and fashion. I'm well, showing you. Know. Ladies, well, Zena. Ladies, so th th those guys. And I was in high heels in one of them. Sorry, so. uh, God, ladies, those guys weren't really trying to hurt you. I'm, I'm no, telling no, no. you. I'm telling you. You know who it is. I I'm going to show you the video again. All right, all right, show me the video. He was. Well, all right. He was. I, I will. He well, was. Let's start here first, and then we'll, you'll go last. You'll go last. Okay, but uh, so what, what do you think I you mean, can take it down? It's quick? pretty easy. You just got to kick him in the balls as hard as you can. You want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. <laughs> and then they're down. Though, when he's like, He's not going to be down. He's going to be up. He's like, oh, you want to fight? Blah, blah, blah. And the guy is going to be like, oh, no, baby, I'm faithful. Remember, you got, you got this one more equal <laughs> partners, right? Let's do it. What you going to do? I guess I'll figure it out when I'm there. I mean, right now, my goal is to just kick balls as hard as I can and run away. <laughs> Here, cool off. Hey, she's smart. Hey, she's smart. I ain't she's not a this, fighter. This is just female delusion. Right? Sparring ends with a knockdown. This is a fun little session. Things are fast but not powerful, which is a great way to spar. The female checks a kick, and they both take a pause to acknowledge it. Really, it's the girl that's having the most success early on. Are you sure about that? However, the man throws a body kick that sounded like a whip. Once again, if you felt a perfectly placed shot to the liver, you know the excruciating pain she was in. I cannot believe that these women signed up just to get their asses kicked. And ladies, this is equality. Don't cry because you asked for it. I mean, looks good in the crack. <laughs> Gentlemen, on that note, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Two days after Thanksgiving, and this girl from Tinder hit me up and she's like, come over. And of course I did. So I'm sitting there, she invites me over, she sits me down on this oversized bean bag that she had, first red flag. Then she was like, hey, what's up? Okay, so mind you, dude, like I said, it was like a day or two after Thanksgiving. So I'm eating Thanksgiving leftovers and I'm having Thanksgiving leftover farts and everything. I mean, it's bad. So I get to her house, I'm laying on the beanbag. She starts topping me up. And then I'm like, okay, this is normal, this is cool. And I start pushing on her head. Come on, baby, let's go deeper. And she goes like this, takes my hands, bah, bah. And she goes, that's the funny thing about guys. Grabs my legs, they always think they're in control. And throws my legs. I mean, I'm telling you like this. She was like, and 
I was like, ma'am, ma'am, what are we doing? And she just started eating my fucking ass, bro, just going to town on that shit. And I didn't shower. I mean, nothing, man. And I'm telling you, that was probably the kinkiest experience I ever had. What's the gayest looking vape you got in here that I could suck on? What's the gayest looking vape you got in here that I could suck on? I could put my lips on. Like the gayest looking one. Just like a wicked gay looking vape, kind of. I could just put my like lips on it almost. Maybe suck it a couple times. Nothing? So this is a straight vape store? Yep. Not a gay vape store? Gay? Yeah, like gay. Mint? Is it like a gay vape store? Like do they have like ones that look like maybe like a like a chode almost? No. No? No. Oh. I'm in the wrong spot then. Yeah.